we are out here trying to test the uh, pixel shift on the Z8 and the ZF. And we're gonna go back to the office and look at the results and all that kind of stuff. Um, but just for the sake of uh, you guys knowing the setup, we essentially have the Z8 and the, Z, the ZF both looking out. And then we have them at the same focal lengths, same spot to try to keep it uh, as fair as possible. Obviously, the ZF only does 96 megapixels at the highest end. The Z8 that just got the firmware version 2 update uh, could go up to 180 megapixels, which we can <laughs> unbelievably talk at length about whether that's ridiculous or not. But anyways, really, this is just about seeing what the results look like. This is the first time we're really doing it, so we really don't have any bias opinion or yeah. thoughts on it, but came up here to see this cool sunset and everything so we'll see you back at the studio and we can check out what the results look like so see you there all right so we're back in the studio and we've started to look at some of the photos and go through it um and it's definitely some interesting results to say That's the least for sure i guess if you want to start with your first images yeah then so i think we'll start with some of the four and eight pixel merges to show mm -hmm. the the actual difference there. So let's see if I can pull our four and eight photo. Four and eight photos. Yeah. So this is the original raw image. Um, on the zoomed left. in at a hundred percent now. Yeah, on the left. Okay. Is the select. And then the candidate photo is gonna be the merged image. And you can see you can see that it muddled mm -hmm. a lot of the of the detail in the background there. And right. I think that's because while we were out there there was a storm coming through, so clouds were in front of our subject moving across as it took each image, and they were moving very fast. So I think that's probably what caused this on these. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to the pixel merge or pixel shift merging, the four images doesn't seem like the reason you would want to use it. So if you look on the left here, we have the original um, raw file straight out of the camera, mm -hmm. and then we've got a 32 image merged file on the right. So we'll zoom in on both of them. And you can see that there's clearly a lot more detail in mm -hmm. the raw file. Yeah. And again, this comes back to, I think, the, the clouds and the storm moving through. If we go and look up at the clouds, I mean, they just look terrible. Right. It is taking separate images, which right. means that if you're taking landscape uh, or trying to use pixel shift for landscape, if you have movement in your photo, and I have another example on mine, it's it's gonna kind of mess with it um, to a point where I honestly don't think it's worth it. So for this one, this is another 32 image merge. So on the right side here, we've mm -hmm. got the 32 merge at 97 and a half megapixels. Mm -hmm. um, and if we zoom in and try and match the level of zoom because they're totally different resolutions. So now we're at about the same. Right. And it really doesn't look that much different. Yeah, it's not terrible, but I guess I'm seeing like even up here on the coils yep. and kind of this little, whatever this Stand kind of thing yeah. sticking out at the bottom part, you know, it's a little blurry looking almost. On the merged one as opposed yeah. to the single raw file out right. of the camera. And then if we go into the background, I think the background on this one looks a lot better than any of the other ones mm -hmm. that I have. But if we try and match the zoom level again, right. You can see it yeah, really yeah. doesn't look better. Yeah, so I guess just to you know uh, try to make a definitive point here is that I would be very cautious about using it for landscapes, uh, you know, and only using that. The good news is that it does take just normal raw files, so and it doesn't stitch them in right. camera, so you're so not still, left without those. Yeah, yeah, they're still individual photos, so you know it's nice to have this option. I guess if you have the time, you could let it run through. Uh, a cycle and then mm -hmm. maybe it will work out for you. Um, but I would just say, yeah, that any camera movement or clouds moving, cars moving, people moving, whatever, like it's gonna kind of mess with it. Um, and I'll actually show you here now in mine. Um, so the left image is the original raw image, uh, which we can see over on the left here uh, on image size that it's the normal large 45 megapixel. Um, whereas this one on the right side now becomes 16,512 by 11,008 pixels. But I sort of have the same issue here uh, with 
uh, mine as well. Same with the uh, clouds here at the top. Yeah, they just, you know, they just together. They, you know, it's not terrible. But, no, yours definitely looks a little better than, than mine did on the merge. I but think. then like here we can look further in the background. But yeah, the same kind of thing, right? So if we look at the clouds right here in the middle, you know, it's just, you can see it sort of has that moved, you know, kind of stretched yeah, across. Right look. here it's sharp on this photo. Yeah. And then over here it's very soft. So here's, you know, a truck going by in the original raw photo and you just get a little bit of motion blur because my shutter speed wasn't fast enough. But what happens now is when you take the full merged of these photos, you can literally see, really trying to zoom in here, look at these weird, you can see. Where it's like a car was going by and you can almost see red, yeah. green and blue pixels. And it's almost from, it's almost, it's sort of interesting because it's actually kind of demonstrating exactly what it's, that means that as that truck was moving through, it was messing with the yeah. shift. And so, you know, I'm not nearly experienced with enough with this to explain, but yeah, look at that. That's really so looks, interesting. It really looks like it's just, oh wow, it's a ghost image of the truck. Right, you can literally see those pixels. That's crazy. I'm just kind of pixel peeping this one that I took on the house yeah. across the street from us to see if we get more detail when we really zoom in on it. And we clearly do on this one. Uh, so on the right is the merged image and on mm -hmm. the left, like you can tell it's it's pulled a lot of noise yeah. out of the image, but. More noise and it looks a little, yeah, a little more clear yeah. almost. Cause like up here mm -hmm. on like these the windows, dark. yeah, it's definitely yeah. cleaner. Yeah, and actually kind of similar here that I would say that the original that's on the left is definitely sharper, but it's sort of interesting. It actually isn't too different. Mm -hmm. I would I would say very, you know, small amounts of noise in there. But if you kind of look in the snow areas or along maybe this kind of ridge line right down here, you can see that same kind of distortion where you can see almost the pixels from, I'm guessing, just the merging process. Like that's just the information that it got. But I'm guessing that either is coming from, like you said, clouds and, and haze moving in f between, you know, the, the mountains yeah. uh, and the camera, or probably just a little bit of camera shake or movement in between. Now, with that said, because we were sort of, I'd say, surprised and a little disappointed by the results uh, just from a kind of overall standpoint, um, but it was a good learning experience. We decided to go ahead and take uh, some pictures of uh, my drone <laughs> uh, here in the office. In a well-lit scenario. Yeah, in a well-lit scenario where the lighting conditions, there was no wind, like everything was staying the same between all the different photos taken to see if we could actually achieve, you know, a better uh, image. So the one on the left again is the original as you can see by the info on the side there. And if we just start punching in here, really coming in on this front part, it's in focus, looks fine. Again, there's no sharpening or anything like that. Uh, but I think something that's sort of worth noting is that as you zoom in onto the merged one, which you can see here on the right, it's not much but it would appear that the noise here in the shadow is slightly better on the merged image if it loads. Yeah. There we go. Just a little smoother. It looks like there's a little bit more information in there, but it, then if you really look closely at the, uh, the ND, it's backwards, but the writing here on the top of uh, the filter on the, you know, on the, M or the camera, it looks a little bit clear. It looks raw. a little bit clearer on the raw. And it's really strange because this is that was in a controlled environment and everything. Um, and again, yes, we are like highly, highly pixel peeping here. So the fact that we're really pixel peeping and hardly can tell a difference is pretty impressive. How did yours look? I think mine have a way more noticeable difference That's than yours. True. And I don't know if it's because we're looking at it in Lightroom or not, but um, as you, this, on the left, we have mm -hmm. the original raw image and on the right, we have the pixel merged image. And I mean, the amount of noise right That's, here on the top of the camera is 
pretty ridiculous mm-hmm. um, compared to what it came out with after. But right. there's also 32 shots and a half a gigabyte file mm-hmm. left over. But I mean, up here on the body of the drone, you can see a lot of noise mm-hmm. in the original. And it looks like it got rid of it pretty well without removing too much of the texture, the, right. stippled, the stippled plastic that they have on these. Mm-hmm. Um, like that is a pretty big like difference. That. that is extremely noticeable. Yeah. I mean, it definitely does a really good job there. Right. Um, but I did this to compare the last one. I brought it in and did an noise reduction, the mm-hmm. AI noise reduction in Lightroom, just right. to see if that works out better um, than what we were getting from the pixel shift. And it kind of does. Or it works out just as well. You right. just don't end up with that 500 megabyte file. It definitely smoothed, smoothed it right. a little more. So the one on the left is the raw, and the Correct. right one is just a normal, not merged image yes. that you did the Lightroom right. noise reduction on. Correct. Okay. And then, so we can do this and compare right. the pixel merged version right. versus the noise reduction right. version from Lightroom, and it kind of looks like it's better. So that's very, very similar. There's definitely, definitely a little more texture on the merged one. Yeah. Like it smoothed it out more. I would agree with that. But okay. the overall like detail and quality, I wouldn't say is like... Take a look at the propellers. You know, astronomically. Yeah. Different. To be fair, the level of pixel peeping we're doing, <laughs> honestly, is, is it sort of goes to show how good all of it really is, yeah. even though they have their flaws. Like it's you really have to now that's a big difference yeah and that's the original on the right now compared to the pixel merged on the left yeah i mean that's a very noticeable difference there. right it's been like looking at the rotor <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it definitely does a lot yeah um i'm excited to play with it more and see what we can come up with well yeah i would say very interesting to say the least um i'm glad we They've given it a shot, and uh, it's a really cool feature, and I'm I'm excited to play with it more and find its limitations because I think we we found some of them, but there's going to be more to find. Exactly. For sure. But anyways, I guess uh, if you guys have any suggestions or other questions or examples uh, that you guys would like to see, um, please let me know down in the comments. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you, Todd, for no problem man. being my partner in crime on this That's and. I'm sure we'll have other stuff coming, so you'll probably see Todd in more videos in the future. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So until the next one, <laughs> see ya. Bye.